Welcome to Scott Combs VoiceOvers Podcast, helping you start and grow your online voiceover business. I'm Scott. Why do you need a primer on basic mic technique? You just talk into it. Right, Scott? No, other Scott. What are you thinking? Hey, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments sections below and I'll cover it for you. Now, there are three basic types of microphones voice artists use. Dynamic large diaphragm condensers and shotgun mics. Now, dynamic mics, uh, I tend to work a little bit closer. Now, uh, in a video previous to this, uh, we talked about, you know, what the different mics looked like. Uh, this one is, whoops, this one is an SM58. And um, on this particular type of dynamic microphone, I usually stick it right on my chin because I'm singing a rock song and I get right up to it and I can. Um, if I'm using it for voiceover, I'm probably often an inch or two, no more. Um, but as I might have mentioned in the last one, uh, is this the very best mic you can use? No, but if somebody pays you to use it, it's the right mic at that time, right? Now, on an SM7, which I used to use back in radio days, SM7s are these things. These are also dynamic microphones. And what I tend to do with these is get them at about mouth level and don't, I don't talk straight into them. I take it out to about a 45 degree angle. Now I use these mics for about 20 or 25 years in the radio business. And the one thing I found that it was working too close or talking too directly into it, um, my plosives, um, P's and uh, heavy words, stuff that would move a lot of air would tend to waft the diaphragm. Uh, it's a technical term meaning, you know, grounding out the diaphragm and pushing it too far. Um, I don't wanna do that. So I move this one probably three to four inches off um, and work from about a 45 degree angle. If it's directly in front of me, I definitely want the diaphragm turned at 45 degrees so I'm talking across it and not right down its throat. Okay, I hope that, I hope that makes some sense. But if you experiment with it, you'll know a little better uh, about it, you know, in terms of your own usage. Now, large diaphragm condensers, I tend to work also at 45 degrees, but what I tend to do with these is get them up around, I try to get the capsule, which is the part where the diaphragm is, and what I'm talking into, I get that up around my nose height, especially on this particular microphone or others like it. So I get it up around my nose height, and not only is it turned at 45 degrees this way, but I might tilt it a little bit. And that gives me some wonderful sound. And, you know, I like using it a lot, but I've been using this, this Neumann U87 for about 30 or 35 years. And I bought it off a studio that was being bought by another studio that was selling it. So I got it for a song and it, and it had just been rebuilt. It's a middle seventies U87. And the thing to me is kind of the holy grail of microphones. It's the one I really, really, really like using. Now, that's not to say it's the only large diaphragm condenser you can use because Rode makes an NT1 um, and some variants of that that work beautifully. Uh, AKG 414s are wonderful. Um, those are very expensive. The Rode NT1 is not as expensive. Um, and if it's a large diaphragm condenser that you're looking for, um, go to YouTube and just start looking at people demoing them and listen to the kind of sounds they're getting. Listen to sibilants, listen to S's, T's, Z's, uh, listens to, listen to plosives, P's, and things like that, and see how that affects your ear and, and how you like listening to that. Um, and, well, along those lines, right? Let's move to the shotgun. Now, shotguns, and I'm using this one right now because I use it all the time, and I do have another shotgun, but I don't want to dig into the you know remote bag and haul it out as long as I've got an example here. Um, this little shotgun, I run oh, probably six to eight inches off and 45 degree, degrees to the side is how I'm doing it here. But we have some kind of unique problems here. I would rather have it above me and pointing down like you see on some television shows or on movie sets or something, you know, 
guy with a boom pole is holding that, that thing over his head and it's pointing down and into the talent. That's how I like to use this one the best. But in this particular room, um, there's a switcher running, I mean, right next to me and it's noisy. Um, all kinds of things are happening in the room. So this is about the best location for, um, good signal to noise ratio and, um, and without having it cast a shadow on me. Cause <laughs> if I put it up here, I get a shadow and you can follow that shadow around a little bit. And so I was having real problems. Now we've, we've put the microphone here, but 45 degrees above, I like. Um, shotgun microphones are really interesting because they reject sound from behind them and on either side really, really, really well. That's why I recommend this particular shotgun microphone. It's an AT875R by Audio-Technica. Um, I've been using it for about eight or 10 years now. Uh, great noise rejection from the back and sides. And so you just have to, uh, you know, set it up properly. And in this case, I'm kind of talking 45 degrees across the diaphragm. It's, it's almost right in front of my mouth, but not quite and a little below. The one thing I don't like about having it a little below is it hears me breathe. And um, I one time had an engineer who happens to be one of my sons say to me, you breathe like a sucking lungfish. Do you mind? And uh, no, I breathe really heavily, especially when I'm into a script. And <gasps> You know, you'll hear me do that sort of thing a lot. And I, get, I minimize that when the mic is above me as compared to, oh, I don't know, right in line with my mouth or even below me, because then sometimes you hear me breathing out of my nose. And the same would happen for you or anybody else as beautiful as me, right? Well, whatever. In any case, I, I prefer having the 875 above me if I can come directly in, you know, kind of from the side here. Uh, at about mouth level, it works okay. Uh, but above, you know, is kind of my, my favorite spot to put that. Now, what does this all mean to you? Here's what I want you to do is record your mic in various locations, just kind of all around your face and kind of figure out which one works best in your ears. You're listening for several things. You're listening for voice quality. You're listening for room noise whether it be the fan from my switcher sitting right here or, you know, hearing the kind of ring of the room that you're in, uh, listen to how it picks up your breaths and think about that and then kind of figure out that position that works best for all, whoops, you know, go ahead and hit the mic, see how that works for your recordings. Um, but figure out the location that works kind of the best all around and, you know, you'll kind of have your location for that microphone. If you want to know more about how you talk for a living, check out the rest of the channel or one of the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.